Okay, this is a special video about handling a menu options. If user is logged in, so that time we can able to show a different options. And if it is logged out, so that time we can able to show a different options to the user. In this case, we need a plugin called as a user menus. So let's go into our backend and click on plugins and add a new plugin called as a user menus. Here it is a name and click on install now. And click on activate. Click on allow and continue. Okay, go back to the, our page. And here we are going to customize it for the logged in users and a public users. For that, I will go to the incognito and open the same screen. So to see a difference, home page and here as well home page. So you can say that this is about logged in users and this is about the public users. So in this case, we will first customize it for the public users. For that, we need to go to the appearance section and click on menus. The very first we have to add a menu name. And I will tick mark this primary menu and click on create menu. So we had created our menu section. But if you can able to see here, there are a lot of options are there. And here card, checkout, my account and shop. All four options are from WooCommerce. Actually, we do not need it in the LMS system. So in this case, we are not using this option. We are just playing with all courses, instructor registration and student registration. Okay, for that, I will select the options, all courses, instructor registration and student registration. Also, we want a dashboard, but it is only for the logged in users. So I will click on add to login. Now for the dashboard, we have to allow only for the logged in users. So I will click on this and this option is not necessary to configure. So no worry about it. Second, for the student registration and also this option has to be for the logged out users. All courses will be for everyone. So this is all about the menu options. Now we will add one more link called as a home page. So you can able to say custom link, enter here home and put your website URL. So in this case, my website URL is this one and add menu. So it is appearing at the bottom. I will put at the top and it is for everyone. So it is already for set as everyone. Now I wanted to add more option. So here I will enter here, sign up and add the menu. Put here hash. Why? I will show you in a short period of a time. Click on this for only sign up user. So on signed out user, logged out user means public user. And I will minimize it. And here I wanted to add this as a subcategories or sub menus. So here add it successfully. I will replace the names. Candidate. Sign up. And second name intruder sign up now i will click on save menu since it is logged in user we can able to see how it appears you can see here but when it is logged out so that time how it will look so you can able to see here now we wanted to add here a login and logout options so for that we need to go to the user links and click on login logout and click on add menu so in this case the login should be before sign up and logout should be before sign up so it should be logout should be appear only for the logged in users and login should be shown to the logout user it is automatically set because it is already configured as per the settings now I will click on save menu and we'll see. So here in incognito mode, it is not logged in user. So for that it is showing home, all courses, login, logout. But for the 
logged in users we can able to see these options first one is home all courses dashboard and logout so we should have to move this dashboard to the first because when the user logged in he first needed to get into his accounts so for that i will do one thing i will just push this to the upper level and click on save changes and you can able to see the settings if you wanted to change the logo you can able to go to the appearance and click on customize and from here you just need to click on this option you can able to select a logo so here it is a logo i will click on select you can see the logo appears here if you wanted to and along with the name so here i just wanted to keep a logo and do not want this option so i will click on this if you wanted to customize the logo width here we can able to see that the logo is very big so in this case we can able to make it smaller so it looks good now and i will click on publish refresh the page and you can see the changes now it looks good almost everything has been completed only thing is remaining is to build the home page and we are ready to launch our website